This news update is brought to you by. This is the 7 a.m. Barbados Today update from Monday, July 28, 2014. I'm Carol Williams. Good morning. After 28 years of searching, Biggie Ari has finally won a title in Barbados. He is now the sweet soca king. Biggie threw off all competitors at Bushy Park last evening with his groovy tune, Pankatang, which got 474 points. He broke down in tears when interviewed following the results. It's really, really overwhelming because... I mean, these people have been supporting me from the time I started way back in the 1980s. And they've, they've stuck with me over the years, you know, and they've been, been, they've been loving my music and really appreciating what I've been doing, you know. And I'd like to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Barbados. You know, um... I thought winning in Trinidad in 2007 was something, but this, this is... The veteran red plastic bag had to settle for second in that competition with his roller coaster. With Sanctuary placing third, defending Monarch, Blood had to settle for fourth position. And over in the Patty Monarch competition, first-time competitor Gorg walked away with the crown. His performance of the runaway hit, My Rum, earned him 384 points. Second place went to defending monarch Soka Cartel with Mikey third and Blood fourth. I, I lost for words now. Um, 11 years doing this. Never, I never thought I would win, win something. You know, I just thank you for everybody, all my supporters for their one oh, patience. Staying with crop over, new kid on the block, Kevin Small remains in shock today after pulling off a major upset in this weekend's junior cadument. The 22-year-old who entered as a band leader for the first time defeated around 16 other competitors to grab the best junior band title as well as several other awards. His fifth element, Kiddies Band, portrayed the climate and we, which depicted the effects of climate change. Veteran mass builder Gwyneth Squires came in second. Small tells Barbados today he's still trying to come to grips with his win. I'm very overwhelmed and very happy about what's happened. And, you know, my team, they've worked really, really hard. And Yes, I am band leader, yes, I am the person in charge, but at the end of the day, it's not done by me alone. So I definitely have to give congrats to them as well, as well as thank you. Well, in some not so good news now, Barbadians will have to dig a bit deeper in their pockets to pay for cooking gas. That's because the cost of LPG went up from midnight. The 100-pound cylinder now costs $173.30 up $2.25, while a 25-pound cylinder has moved up $0.60 cents to $48.45. A 22-pound cylinder is now $42.80, up $0.50, cents, and a 20-pound cylinder is now selling at $38.90. That an that's an increase of $0.45. Cents. The Energy Division says the increases are in keeping with government's policy to allow retail prices to be reflective of those in the international market. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hey, I'm Charlie in the Costa Mac Don't Search Only Alpha for Palmer, the original Batman Captain O Small B Small F for short. You call me Alf. Ah, this is the Nirvana experience. I am feeling perfect happiness, pure joy, and this is bliss. Because Barbados today, in association with Wednesday 2000, presents Tail 
Wales of Nirvana. Yes, listen to me. Why? Because when is it 2000? The band is Nirvana. This is could do men the 2040 experience. And what they want you to do if you believe that you know what Nirvana is and you can get more Nirvana than me, you have more perfect happiness than me, more pure joy than me, more bliss than me. Take a 60 second video, upload it to Tears of Nirvana at Barbados today dot BB. Yes, and they will upload it to Facebook. People will like it or don't like it, but I know you want them to like it. And you can win two costumes for Wednesday 2014, which is Nirvana. This is Kadumut the 2040 experience. Hey, for further information, log on to www.barbados today dot BB. You hear me? www dot Barbados today dot BB. Nirvana, Nirvana, Nirvana. Turning to the region now, carnival organizers in Antigua and Barbuda are scrambling to put together a team to oversee the country's party mono competition. This after the entire subcommittee reportedly resigned over the government's decision not to rehire two masses of ceremony for carnival shows due to their conduct during the election campaign. Minister of Carnival Paul Chet Green says politicians aren't the only ones who should be held accountable for their public conduct. And internationally, now a 24-hour ceasefire announced by Hamas in Gaza appears to be stalling, with both Palestinian militants and Israel continuing their offenses. Hamas fired more rockets into Israel, accusing it of failing to abide by the ceasefire. And Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rejected the truce, saying Israel will do what it must to defend its people. And that's where we end our 7 a.m. update. Join us again at noon. In the meantime, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Carol Williams. Have a great day. This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes,